So, I just finished a, a review of the sword bag. Um, now I'd like to do one of the shield bag. Uh, this is another one of the battle foam economy lines. I like that they've uh, got this in there, expands their business. Uh, and uh, one thing they did do that I like is that they made an economy bag that fits the other major manufacturer's foam. So the sword bag, which is a little bit taller as you can see here, and it fits the Sabal line uh, foam. Uh, which is one of the more standard, a lot of the economy bags fit that. Shield bag uh, actually fits GW size foam, uh, holds 9 inches of it, uh, and costs $36.99 on their website. Uh, overall dimensions are 14.5 by 10.5 by 9. Uh, I actually picked this up from their little scratch and dent section. Uh, has a stain. Uh, I'm gonna, so I picked it up, I think it was half price. Uh, there's the little stain. Uh, it's gonna be, after one time out at a game shop, it's gonna be way worse than that. So uh, if you get it at a good deal, uh, that's good. I have another one that I picked up in a trade. So um, let me move this. I just wanted to show you that for a size comparison. Uh, this one comes with a flap, you know, like they all do. It's a Velcro flap, not a zipper flap. Uh, for rules or whatever, one little uh, pocket for dice and such. Uh, like uh, the other economy bags that I've seen uh, from them, it has a pocket on the side with the uh, piece for a strap, and of course, you know, it's going to have the same thing on the other side. Uh, opening it up, this one just opens up from the top; it doesn't pull all the way open. And uh, like I said, this one fits. Uh, GW foam. Uh, not much else to say. It's just a standard GW size uh, foam. Just for comparison, uh, the only other thing I have with GW size foam is an actual GW case. Um, so a GW case, you know, this is the standard amount of foam it holds. Um, will fit plenty in here. Like I said, there's nine inches of room. Uh, this does collapse because it doesn't have any hard sides. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed compared to some of the other bags is this one does seem a little more, I don't know, floppy I guess is the right word. So a little bit harder to get the trays in and out of than some of the other bags. I don't know if you can see this. So you kind of have to fold it up and stick it in there. Uh, or fold's the wrong word. Let it bend a little bit. Um, uh, so I mean, and these are GW produced foam trays. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's really the bag. I wish I had more to say about it. It is a very standard. It's their economy line. It fits GW size trays, nine and a half inches of foam. And uh, you can collapse it down flat when you're not using it. And otherwise, it is a very standard piece of equipment, so if you've got a whole bunch of GW foams foam, foam laying around, it might be worthwhile. Uh, if you don't, um, to be honest, it's not. There's nothing exceptional that sets this aside from any other bag uh, that I have. But if you get it for a good price, it's a, it's, it's a decent one to transfer from your hard cases if you don't want to use those. Uh, Incredibly short uh, review, but there ain't much to it. It's canvas. It goes flat, nine inches of GW size foam, no bells, no whistles, 60, 36.99, empty on their website, 61-ish, uh, fully loaded with foam, and that's the the whole story there. Looks like a decent quality bag. I've not really thrown it around a lot yet to to see, but. Uh, that is the Battle Foam Shield Bag.